All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 horror film called Talk To Me, created by the famous Aussie twin brothers from, from Raka Raka. Uh, here's the plot, when a group of friends discover how to conjure spirits with an, an embodied hand, they become hooked on the new thrill and high stakes party game until one of them goes too far and unleashes terrifying supernatural forces. Now here's some of the cast. Now to give you a little bit of an insight here, Raka Raka is a YouTube channel that goes way way back. It was created by two brothers. They did very violent, gory comedy and action skits with a lot of stunts done by them, friends and family. And I believe they have history of doing stunts professionally before this. Uh, they're also very good at doing camera work and making these short films kind of come off like, or not even kind of, just like really come off like they, like us highly cinematic. Uh, films, but they're, they're like little skits that are dark comedy. Now, here's the thing. I've been sitting here and uh, was scared to watch this for a couple days. I've been debating back and forth on if I should back out of this until I decided to get to this over uh, night uh, last night. Um, you know, over with uh, last night. You know, just like Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get this over with. It's going to be, it's going to give me crap uh, at night. It's going to be, you know, it's going to make me crap my pants. It's going to be all that stuff, you know, <laughs> not, not literally, but it's going to be scary to me. Well, I got to say it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be with the scare level. Uh, personally, in my opinion, I know uh, there's people that find this very scary or very eerie, um, but all that was strongly on the border side a borderline of almost to that line where it was past that but it was this way 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 very deep um you know really eerie very creepy you know just disgusting um but it was a solid horror film in my opinion i definitely was super creeped out while also so uh, sucked into the story of the film felt like a new take on spirits and spirit possession um, I wouldn't say this is around the devil possession, but if you're in possession uh, problems with possession horror films in general, I definitely wouldn't recommend this for you. It's that kind of film. Um, of course, the cinematography was top tier with, with the very detailed sounding sound effects and every movement in objects and body fluids, which was just nasty sounding and added to the intense feel of the film. And all the cinematography was way too, uh, was very good, very very good for. And it's not all the stuff is not you know, you know shocking to me. Even though I haven't seen Raka Raka in seven years, to maybe even eight, because um, they went downhill because of YouTube and stuff. So the whole drama behind that because how gore they are. Um, but they're very good at what they're they're doing, and I was actually surprised to find out that this was that the the horror studio A24 took upon them to, you know, uh, produce this with them with them directing. I think this is their director debut officially. Um, the prospects was way too real, which was fantastic and made me on edge at the same time. Now I wish we got more backstory on the origins of the hand. They explain what they heard that what, what it was, but they are uh, apparently doing a sequel. Hopefully we get more story about the hand. Because again, they, they, they told about what they heard. Um, I just, I mean, it, it does add to the lore to this, but in my personal opinion, I wish they would a little bit, you know, give a little bit more to it to you know that but maybe when we get the sequel uh because i apparently they confirmed it from what i heard uh we hopefully we get more backstory maybe they'll do a past lead up to it for the sequel who knows but now now the ending was a little confusing to me personally i did get a part of it but the length of the film in my opinion was the perfect amount i'm per which was over an hour and a half 
about like an hour and 35 minutes or something like that. My impressions of the hidden message of the story was evolves around drug addiction. But that's just what I got. And I, I just kind of watching some other people's videos, like there was, I watched Virko's la, uh, last night afterwards and, you know, I looked in the comments on Patreon and um, someone had a theory uh, about this. I was thinking it was going with something else, but they, they made a very, very good point. And then I sat there all night, you know, just trying to get to sleep thinking, well, you know, he has this point with this and this and that. And I have to say, it, in my opinion, it makes sense that it involves kind of a, a hidden message of drug addiction. And I can't get into the, uh, the definition, or not definition, but the details of it. But, you know, it, it's, it makes sense if you've seen it. But here's my rating, I'll come up with my thoughts. So, do you think this is was the best horror film of 2023? Um, I see a lot of posts and a lot of people saying it is. Um, I personally don't have a personal opinion on it because I don't watch a lot of these type of shills, uh, films uh, outside of zombie stuff um, and kind of borderline sci-fi that label horror. Um, so, let me know in the comments below what you think of that. But also, let me know if you you know if you've seen this. What is your interpretation of this? This the story of this. Uh, Jordan Peele, which I'm not a fan of, sorry, um, he has a history of doing, you know, um, these horror store, uh, films, and they have a hidden message in it, and I feel like this was definitely inspired by Jordan Peele's, um, you know, films, uh, obviously this wasn't, he had nothing to do with this film, but I, I've, I've read that he is, is, he says it's like one of the best, he's like one of the people that say it's the best, so there's definitely a hidden meaning in there. Um, I definitely nowadays look at that from that point of view, depending. Um, but uh, in general, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. If you've seen it, if you haven't, um, you know, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Um, I, I can't imagine this not being anything other than maybe a little bit of a mix to it because it's definitely a, a I w you know, a... A unique uh, type of, of category of horror um, you know even though I do again think it's a little bit of a, a, a different take on that stuff but um, I, I don't really don't explain it I wouldn't call it small budget but it kind of is with a high budget look to it um, but yeah I gone along enough let me know how you feel about it um, but in the meantime remember I love you please stay safe uh, spread the love, most importantly, skull.